Hi, my name is Dale Stewart, the CEO of the Shire of Narragin, and it's my pleasure to be here today to present Narragin's case for Australian to A Town Awards Program 2021. And I'm supported by my Shire President, Lee Ballard, and my councillor, Clive Bartram, who's chair of our Townscape Committee. So firstly, I, I wish to acknowledge the custodians of the land, uh, which is in Beechworth, uh, when I wrote this presentation, the Duju Huroa and Wairua people. I'd like to pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging, and extend my recognition to the descendants who may be here today. And I recognise and respect their cultural heritage, beliefs and relationship with the land and offer my respects to any other First Nations peoples who might be present and listening today. So without further ado, Wanju Nija, welcome to Narrowsian, the place of water. Here we have a small video presentation going for about a minute or so, which is our Wanju welcome, our welcome to Narrowsian to you. So thank you to our Narragin Primary School students and principal and elders from Narragin last year for that uh, welcome to Narragin Place of Water. So Narragin is set on the traditional land of the Noongar people of the Nalakala Budja region. And the traditional inhabitants are the Noongar people extending from uh, to the north to Geraldton and to the south and east to Esperance. The Noongar people gave the name Narragin, meaning place of water to the area thousands of years ago. And historic records indicate that various spellings of Narragin uh, do exist. But we today recognise Narragin as indicated with the, the, the leading G. Our European heritage records that as the derivation of Narragin without the leading G and with a G in place of the J. Narragin being the place of water is home to the Narragin Brook, which runs through the centre of town a very attractive local place where both locals and tourists come to have a picnic, uh, partake of our skate park and the song lines of the Narragin Brook. Narragin as a shire covers an area of 1,600 uh, odd square kilometres. There's a population of around 5,200 people and services a broader district of 11,000 people for businesses and indeed about 20,000 people for health services. The first Europeans settled the area in the 1860s and worked as shepherds and sandal cutters. And from 1905, there was a major rail junction for the Great Southern Railway. And in the 1940s and 1950s, hundreds of European settlements came to Narragin, mainly from displaced persons camps in Germany and Italy. Today, some of our features include some of our heritage aspects of that settlement, including the railway tent camp, that exists on the edge of town. So the railway dam was obviously constructed for railways, but then obviously used to accommodate railway workers and migrant workers. Today, this is commemorated with an RV stop 
and with stories of us and a war trail. Within the Shire and also abutting Shires is the Dryandra woodland, a nationally recognised woodland that is soon hopefully become a national park and is home to Western Australia's fauna emblem, a, a very unique and quite rare and endangered creature, the numbat. So yes, people can enjoy the numbat in its surroundings in the Shire and partake of night tours in particular where this nocturnal animal comes out and plays. So we're pr very proud to have the state's fauna emblem within the Shire. So now is a very bustling and thriving community, 190k southeast of Perth, about a two hour drive, easily accessible through high standards of public transport facilities, serviced with excellent public utilities, uh, including NBN and uh, wired services to the home and extensive recreation complexes, including a 25 metre heated pool and modern recreation complex library and heritage museum. We have a very strong art community with Narragin Arts leading the way locally and excellent academic opportunities with an agricultural college to year 12, as well as a district high school to year 12 and three primary schools, one of which is private. Here we now have a short promotional video which we use to promote on television programs throughout the state to attract people to come shop, visit and play and love the life of Narragin. The Shire of Narragin, a great place to live, work or play. You have variety and choice in education, including childcare and TAFE, all sports facilities and magnificent aged care accommodation. Narragin, love the life. Narragin, of course, is a larger district for the broader farmland and hinterland of the district. So obviously the town only encompasses a very small portion of the regional district. And we're fortunate to have some very diverse agricultural interests, including wheat, sheep, hay, uh, and indeed an abattoir, uh, farming our lamb and rich animal husbandry of the district. We also have some other diverse agricultural interests, such as two wineries, for example, and the Downdry Winery, just on the edge of town that services our tourism and hospitality trade for locals indeed with picnics uh, and bringing a hamper and the occasional uh, uh, band and the like that occurs there. And of course, we do have those wonderful canola fields like many of our other neighbours do around not just Western Australia, but throughout uh, the cereal growing district of Australia. Here we see three farmers who are a diverse agricultural based business of the Shire that has uh, Australian and international products hitting the market. They successfully produce quinoa and that's available throughout Australian shops, including Coles and other um, um, uh, small retail outlets. Moving to our presentation in terms of the award category, Heritage and Culture, which recognizing, recognizes our stand commitment to the conservation and celebration of the community's indigenous and non-indigenous heritage and culture. We commemorated our stories of us, a new initiative that celebrated bicentennial history and details of our history over the past 130 years or predominantly European history, but also intertwining our Indigenous culture. So the walk trail is based and inspired by extensive research undertaken in the years past by a much loved historian, Maury White, deceased, and features a number of interpretive panels, conveniently located on a 1250 meter stroll throughout the Narragin CBD. It's also available as a virtual tour on the Shire's website. 5,000 copies of the brochure were recently distributed and published and have been downloaded. An example of one of those signs is in Fortune Street. Fortune Street conveniently has a number of banks in that street, hence giving the rationale for its name. This interactive sign tells the story of one of Narragin's busier streets and the heritage of many of the buildings in that. It also includes 
the, the indigenous history of the naming of Narajin, a place of water. And that's an example of one of the signs etched aluminium that hopefully will survive not, uh, approximately 30 or so years in our main street. It also show, shows, for example, the adaptive reuse of some of our historic buildings in town. This church, for example, was being reused as a retail complex. So Memorial Park is in the middle of town and commemorates one of our well-known historic figures, being Lieutenant Colonel Alden. So Lieutenant Colonel Arthur Alden was of the 10th Light Horse Regiment, a dentist from Narragin, who was hailed as a hero for receiving the surrender of Damascus in 1918 and afforded the honour of laying the foundation stone of the Narragin War Memorial on Anzac Day in 1922. And this cenotaph lays that history and respects successive generations of uh, people that have fought and died for their country from Narragin. Further plaques illustrate our World War I and World War II and latter heritage. The category of environmental communication and engagement, we highlighted a number of achievements in terms of our community and community groups. And one of those was our Narragin Community Garden. Here we see the early days of the Narragin Railways Bowling Club, which ceased operations in around 1980 and lay derelict for a number of years before a local community group sought about owning it, restoring it, and making it the, the vibrant community gardens it is today. So from this, we move to what it is today, a vibrant place where community groups come together and utilize and share stories about food and local food production. Indeed, it hosts the markets for Narragin, which is convened about six times per year and sponsored by the community and indeed the Shire. So the Narragin Community Gardens was included in our nominations because of their passionate approach to accessibility and inclusion and is located on the edge of Narragin Brook. And they've successfully over the years applied for grants, developed the facility, still retained the aspects of the old bowling club, but now turned into activities where people come together, community groups come together. And that particular group indeed was the winner of the 2018 Shire of Narrows and Australia Day Citizen of the Year Award group. Today, the facility is used by disability service providers, work for the older participants, home education, and Narragin Regional Home Care as places where people can come along, walk through, tend the gardens, uh, and participate in growing organic food. It's also a venue for the Forget Me Not Cafe, a worldwide set of cafes that have encouraged the ability to come together and actually have people remember fond memories of their past and childhood and growing up when they start showing signs of dementia. So forget me not cafes encourage carers and their partners to coexist in a social atmosphere such as the Narragin Community Garden with no fear of embarrassment, embarrassment, misunderstandings or judgment as they share a morning with others who are traveling down the same road. This cafe provided a place for carers and loved ones with dementia to see that despite the illness being so personal, there are still others who truly can understand their own first-hand experiences and share the fact that they're not alone in our fight. One of the other elements we highlighted in our submission was the new sensory garden at the Shire's RW Bob Farr Memorial Library. The library is seen to the right and the new garden is shown here with sensory plants where children of all, and people of all ages are encouraged to come along and smell the roses, smell the lavender, smell the herbs and spices, pick them if they wish to, um, in a nice pleasant setting in the CBD uh, next to our library. 
it has been very well received indeed. We also, at the edge of the Narragin Community Gardens, have the Narragin Park and Narragin Brook with pleasant walkways. And often some of our people that go to Narragin Park, such as from our Narragin Regional Home Care, which has got 200 clients that are mostly elderly, walk a while along Narragin Park and Narragin Brook. Narragin Park is also home to our Indigenous cultures display of our heritage and shows the song lines of the Noongar people of this particular district. A number of artefacts over the years and heritage uh, creations and artistic creations have been developed uh, in conjunction with the community and with visiting and local artists to celebrate our Indigenous history. Here we see the Central South Naturalist Club uh, at their collection day in, in April 2021, where they've been adopting a spot as part of the KABC local activities for the past 10 years. This is our welcome to Narragin sign on the entrance to town coming from Williams from the west. So with that, we come to a conclusion of our small introduction to Narragin. So Willa to Jabini Court Woodja, translated by local elder Basil Kickett as Love the Life, which is our slogan and motto for Narragin, our love the Shire. We hope you enjoyed our small tour today. Uh, with that, I'd like to acknowledge Lorraine Bell, Carolyn Thompson, uh, Tari Evans, Keenan Winning, John Warburton, and all of the Shire of Narragin's Parks and Gardens and Works crews who worked tirelessly to maintain our town environs, and also our elected members, our Shire President, our councillors, and Townscape Committee members of Shire of Narragin for the drive, passion and commitment, and funding the various initi initiatives we do from time to time. Kirsten Sivia and Lynn Alcock, photographers. Gary Norwell in relation to the author of Railway Tent Camp Information. Recognising the Forget Me Not Cafe. And you'll find additional references there to further explore Narragin in due course. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs>